guys, this is Sean from MP3 Car. I'm here with Justin Riley, uh, who you recently saw on the website making this uh, iPad in the car bezel. Uh, we're going to take another look at the iPad bezel and some other cool and cool ways to use it and uh, how it can actually be safe in the car. All right, so today, uh, as Sean mentioned, we're going to talk about a few things, actually four topics. The first topic is going to be using it safely in your car through gestures and other motion control. Second topic will be controlling your iPad with your voice. The third topic will be using it as the largest iPhone in the world and actually making calls through Skype. And the fourth topic will be uh, everything that went into the install of this, which includes a little cabling and some other work. So before you go ahead and buy this unit, you can see everything that's included and exactly what you have to do to get the iPad up and running in your car. Okay, so we're firstly going to take a look at uh, how you can use gestures, and before you can actually use gestures, you have to set up gestures. Now this requires a, uh, a quote, jailbroken uh, iPad, it only takes a couple of seconds, you can find videos all over the net about it, but we're going to have a program called Activator, which basically lets you assign anything to gestures. So we can go ahead and take a look at that. Alright, so we'll go into Activator, and Activator is not a program, it's actually in your settings under your extensions list, so here we are under Extensions Activator. And what we're going to use in this example is assigning it so that anywhere we are, we can use our gestures to control our iPad. So we'll select anywhere. And you can see if we double press the home button, double press the sleep button, short hold the sleep button, we're actually going to use icon spread, which you're very familiar with that motion. Icon spread, and we're going to assign that to anything that we really want. But in this situation, we're going to assign it to iPad control. So it'll pop up your, re your previous track, pause, play next track from wherever you are. So once that's assigned, go back to home screen and what we just learned, boom, there are iPad controls. All right, a couple other gestures that I use to keep me safe while driving so I don't have to take my eyes off the road are to control Pandora or my iPod through a play pause gesture where I just start at the top and drag down. And a next track gesture where I start at the bottom left and move to the middle. So right now this is actually Pandora that's playing in the background. This isn't my iPod uh, doing it. In uh, your iPod you can actually, I set it up from the bottom right moving in, goes to the previous track. As everyone knows with Pandora you can only go forward, you can't go back. So with Pandora my main controls are top down to play music and bottom left up to go to the next track.